It really is, Scott. And I want to show you this sign that was just left here in the past couple minutes or so. It says 17 forever, two lives wasted. And of course, they're remembering Jameer Jen Jenkins, a 17 year old who was shot and killed in this park Tuesday evening. Again, it was another teen behind the gun. Jameer's friends tell us he was funny, loyal and a leader. He was a junior on the Combs High School football team. He just turned 17 last month and his friends say he was working hard to save up money to buy a car. His team Teammates on the football team came by last night to pay their respects and remember their friend, many of them in tears. And these are photos of the team shared by friends. Pinal County Sheriff's deputies say he and another team got into a verbal fight, and then that's when the other team pulled the trigger, shooting the 17-year-old in the neck. We're told several people at the scene were trying to help him. And this is the second violent death of a teen at Combs High School in just over a month, as you mentioned. Preston Lord was brutally beaten while leaving a Halloween party. He died from his injuries two days later. Still, no arrests have been made in his case. In Jameer's case, however, deputies did make an arrest but aren't releasing the name because the suspect is a minor. They say the suspect drove off after the shooting in a blue Dodge Charger, which deputies found the next morning. And right now, deputies say they have interviewed all the people at the shooting and are trying to determine if there are any more suspects or witnesses. Natia McRae is a family friend of the Jenkins and her son and Jameer are best friends and he was there during Jameer's last moments. She says he doesn't, she doesn't understand rather, why someone would ever end his life. Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb says these acts of violence need to end. He was like a son to me, like a son to me. He called me mom when he comes to the house and he was to the house almost every day. Good kid. He went to school, got good grades. Get ready to buy a car, his first car. He was excited about that. Um, had a bright future ahead of him. Jameer really did on the football team. Worked every day and yesterday he happened to be off. This is tragic when you have an altercation, a verbal altercation that results in somebody shooting somebody else. Um, I think it's cowardly, and clearly now we have multiple families that have been, uh, whose lives have been ruined, including one of them who lost their child. Now I want to point out these black, red, and silver balloons that you see here this morning. They are Combs High School colors, and obviously Combs has been rocked by not just one, but two deaths in just the past month. And we did get a statement sent by Combs High School yesterday saying the school is deeply saddened and shocked by this loss, especially as students are already mourning and grieving Preston's death. The school is offering counseling services for students, and you can see by this growing memorial the death is truly already felt by this community. It's, it's just devastating to see, guys. Let's hope uh, some families get some answers here. Thank you so much, Sarah.